Is your ex-spouse or ex-partner refusing you your rights to see your children? Remember, you have legal rights. Hi, I'm Sergio Cabanas, Managing Attorney of the Divorce and Mediation Law Firm. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today's question is, Sergio, help. My former spouse or former partner is denying me my rights to see my own children. Is there anything I can do about this? Do I have any legal rights? Generally, the law considers that both spouses have the right to time sharing. In fact, there was a recent law in July of 2023 that specifically states that both parents have the right to time sharing on an equal 50-50 basis unless they agree otherwise. If your former spouse or former partner is refusing to allow you to see your children for any reason, you have the right to file the proper legal action depending on the circumstances of your case. Now, you may be tempted to call the police because your ex-spouse's conduct may be so bad, so egregious to you that you consider it to be criminal. However, the truth is that the police will usually not get involved because technically, from a legal standpoint, it's not considered a criminal act. Instead, they're likely to inform you that you should consult an attorney to pursue a private legal action and technically, from a legal standpoint, they're right. This issue usually comes up when there's child support involved. For example, one parent denies the other the right to see the children because they haven't paid the child support that they've agreed to pay or the child support that they owe. Or one parent stops paying child support because the other is refusing time sharing. Either way, the short answer is that you should take the higher road by doing the right thing. The court considers the right to time sharing and the right to child support as two independent considerations. So if one parent stops paying child support for any reason, that person's right to time sharing should not be affected. Similarly, if you stop receiving the child support payments, this does not necessarily mean you can refuse your ex-spouse or ex-partner from having time sharing with your children. Either way, it's best to show the court that you've complied with all of your responsibilities and have fully complied with any existing court order or final judgment, if there is any. If so, you have a better chance that the court will grant you the legal right to time sharing or child support and enforce that right. The court may also give you additional makeup time sharing so that you can recover the time you lost with your children because of the other parent's bad behavior. The same goes for child support. The court may order your former spouse or former partner to pay child support as well as recover any payments they may have missed in the past. You may also recover attorney's fees and costs to enforce your legal rights to see your children or to receive child support payments depending on the circumstances of your case. So remember, you do have legal rights when it comes to time sharing with your children. However, you should also make it a point to meet your obligations such as child support payments whenever it's possible. If you need help in getting your ex to pay child support or if you want to enforce your rights to time sharing, please contact us today so we can help you review your options. I hope this short video provided you with at least some guidance on how child support and time sharing works here in Florida. Thank you again for joining me today and as always, stay informed so you can stay strong.